Here is some uh, more of my collection of recruitments for the uh, Civil War soldier. And we'll start over here with the powder flask. And these were pretty important, you know, because they had to be efficient in carrying it. And they were designed out of primarily copper with some brass, which was non spark, it was spark resistant, so you carry your gunpowder. And this particular one was from 45, 1845. So it had been used prior to the Civil War, probably in the Indian Wars, and then used during the Civil War, you know, as surplus. And this is also a double-sided Federal Eagle uh, flask that was issued by the government, and it has the inspector marks in here. And this is from uh, 57, 1857. And this would be something that the common soldier would carry. And it's also of copper and brass. <clears throat> and this flask right here is something that would be used by the uh, southern soldiers. It's made by American flask. But as you can see that it has been riveted and, you know, pieced together. So a lot of these flask companies at this time were shipping out parts and reassembled. And they did have factories for the uh, South at that time. I'm pretty sure that this would be used by some Southern soldier. <clears throat> and then whenever the guys were at, at peace for the night, they went about doing these bullet molds. And this is unmarked mold, but it's pretty, uh, pretty predominant that this was used by somebody, you know, during the Civil War because of, you know, the uh, round ball and the size of the ball. And so that would have been like for a uh, ordinance uh, or a bookkeeper or a ledger keeper for the smaller calibers. And then this bullet mold here is for the Colt pistols. And this is for the, uh, uh, Colt 51 Navy, 1851 Navy. And this was primarily, you know, the 51 Navies were highly, highly uh, popularized. And during the Civil War, they were used mostly by the Navy. But however, there are, you know, about 5,000 recorded uh, Army Navies. And the Army Navies, like I said, you know, are very rare. But they would sit around and they would do uh, pour lead into these at night. And this is for the uh, muskets. And this is a Colt flask, but you can see that it's pretty a uh, pretty large caliber. So that's the uh, 57 caliber or 58 caliber that it comes out to be. And you can uh, you could also make balls, but most people. Uh, like to use the mini balls because they had superior accuracy. And these were, these type of flat uh, uh, bullet molds were mostly issued to sharpshooters, you know, because they, uh, they needed all, every advantage that they could in the accuracy of their rifles. It's like the uh, 1861 special issue musket. This was designed for that gun. Over here, we have a uh, sword, and up here on the bark, it has a, it's made by Roby, and they were contracted by the government. So this is the uh, 1861 uh, 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 cavalry sword, and it was also called a wrist breaker because if you got your hand caught in here a little bit, you know, it slipped with the blood or anything, then, you know, it, 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 you know, your hand could fall into it. And it has all of the federal marks. This is a righteous sword. And, and the type of guy that would rock, that would use, the type of soldier that would use this would be issued to it would be something, you know, like on a, a lightsaber detail, 
somebody that would be on the front lines, somebody that needed to get into action quick and up close and personal. This here is a, it's an 1860, uh, 62. It's a uh, uh, artillery sword. And it isn't as elaborate as the uh, as the wrist breaker because it didn't need the uh, you know the up close and personal effect. And then plus it was bulky because these guys carried it you know strapped to them during the day, and they had to walk with it. And so it's a lot different than having your horse, I mean your uh, your scabbard you know around your neck and then riding the horse. So this is very cumbersome to be there. And then they also had to carry their musket, their other stuff. And these guys went through a lot of, uh, lot of hardships to fight in the Civil War.